remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? You would think with all of the money and success that Steve Harvey has had in his career that some of the shady things that he does would be beneath him. Many people overlook the shady things that he does because they're so focused on his money, his success. I want to mention a few of those things that are shady about him that people tend to ignore. Number one, he treats his staff like crap. On the heels of his talk show's big move to Los Angeles, Steve Harvey reportedly sent a shocking memo to his new staff demanding things typically reserved for tour riders. There will be no meetings in my dressing room. No stopping by or popping in. No one. Do not come to my dressing room unless invited. Do not open my dressing room door. If you open my door, expect to be removed. My security team will stop everyone from standing at my door who have the intent to see or speak to me. I want all the ambushing to stop now. That includes TV staff. You must schedule an appointment. Steve Harvey feud with his ex-wife. Some of the low down things that this man has done to the mother of his child. He put her out of the house. He made her homeless. He did this to the mother of his child. Listen, man. This is not just some spat. This ain't some chick that you just hooked up with and, you know, uh, you had a little fling with or whatever. This is the mother of your child who you were married to, you lived with for years. You put her out of the house, made her homeless. Did I mention that Steve Harvey's jokes are trash. People tend to overlook that. The dude is not funny. He could not tell a funny joke to make real comic fans laugh to save his life. His meeting with Donald Trump. He met with Donald Trump Shortly after Donald Trump became president, word got out that he did this against the advice of his wife, Marjorie. She said she told him not to do it. He did it anyway. This despite Donald Trump having a reputation for being a racist. This despite him being an enemy of the black community. During his highly charged campaign, this dude repeatedly made racist comments. Even more surprising, some of the takeaways from their meetings. Dude described Donald Trump as, get this family, a great guy, genuine, congenial, and sincere. He's a joke thief. Don't even tell his own jokes half the time. Been stealing people material for the longest. Stealing Mark Curry material. Mark say, man, why you got to steal my material? Come to me, man. You know, I'll write you some jokes. Hey, you got to pay me. But you ain't got to steal from me, man. You know? And if you're going to steal from me, at least 
Let me tell you how to tell the joke so you can tell it the right way. Stealing the man jokes. Oh yeah, I believe Mark Curry. I believe Mark Curry say he stole them jokes. I believe he stole Mark Curry's jokes. And if he stole Mark Curry jokes, I'm sure there's others. Slapstick comedy. Lincoln Theodore Monroe Andrew Perry, better known as Step and Fetch It, reminds me of everything this dude does. Everything about him, you can just see him dancing and tapping for massa. Look at him. He is the quintessential brown noser. Get him, boy. Come on. Fetch those buttermilk biscuits. Oh, yeah. You can see him doing that. And you can see him telling, too. He looked like the type that a snitch on the rest of the slaves. Now, I save the big one for last. I saved the big one for last because Bernie Mac was one of my favorites. When I heard what he did to Bernie Mac, all it did was reconfirm what I already knew about this dude. Garbage. A source was reported as saying someone from Steve Harvey's camp contacted the producer of Ocean 12, actually the director of Ocean 12, and said that we'll try to convince the director to get rid of Bernie Mac. That person said that Steve Harvey had more fans. He was more popular. To that, Bernie Mac said, I heard about that. I was told about that. You know these people? Are you surprised? Tell me, are you really surprised? It's always about him. He continued to accuse Steve Harvey of showboating. He said, go back and look at the Kings of Comedy tapes. Whenever he introduced his buddy Cedric the Entertainer, it was always about himself. So yeah, I knew about it. Did it piss me off? Nah. You can't piss me off. You ain't that good. Which brings me to my final point. Steve Harvey. How the hell did you get all of that action in Hollywood? You must have gotten on your knees and sucked up a few people because as a true king of comedy once said you ain't that good no more talk what, what the haters talking about